here we have our Life Power 4 uh, lithium battery. It's a 48 volt battery we've attached to our 6000 XP. When you make the connection after you've done your upgrade, put your uh, cable, communication cable that came with the uh, unit. It's an orange cable. Either port works. And now you have to go connect it to the port in the uh, inverter. That's going to be your battery communications port. Just take your cable like that and just plug it in. Once it's plugged in and running, um, you'll then go to your screen and you'll notice that uh, it's a default of lead acid. You'll have to change that to lithium in order for it to recognize the battery that you've just upgraded. Go into your settings mode and then you'll see uh, the icons come up and you'll see that you'll need to go to setting number three. Hit enter. You'll have a choice of lead acid or lithium. We're going to choose lithium. As we see there, hit enter. The other stage is it has a brand. Now all EG4 batteries have a brand zero. You just go ahead and select that. The, the BMS will uh, reset itself. It'll flash on, come back on, it'll come back up, and then uh, just give it a few moments so it can talk to the battery through the communication cable. It'll recognize it. It'll receive data. And then it should uh, go ahead and start communicating with your inverter and out to your AC ports. This is the load ports that will be generating your 120 output on your line 1, line 2 load um, outputs. There was an issue that we had earlier that uh, there was no load coming out of there. Uh, no AC was at the 120 volt coming out. And that will be in another video that I'll be showing you how to make that change because uh, there's a default in the units that's set for uh, econo mode or the uh, power saving mode. And that's used for when this machine is idle and you don't want to be having any, any power going into the uh, AC loads. So I'll show you how that works in the next video.